we are going to start accounting rate of return as our next topic. Okay, is that clear, everybody? Okay, so quickly, the accounting rate of return or the ARR expresses the average accounting profit as a percentage of the capital outlay. Okay, it expresses what? Average accounting profit divided by the capital injection, the cost of the project or the cost of the asset. Okay, so it's very, very, very similar to Rose, return on capital employment. Return on capital employment is part profit after tax all over capital employment. So this time around, the only difference is the denominator. Yeah. The denominator will always be the cost of the capital or the initial injection of the project. Okay. So this method is simple and is a familiar thing to us as accountants. So what decision rule do we have to advise? Decision rule is that projects with an accounting rate of return above a defined minimum are acceptable. For example, if the organization's policy is they don't implement projects that are below 25% ARR. So that means if any project hits 25% and more, the project will be acceptable. Okay, so that's the decision rule. Okay, advantages of ARR, it's quick and simple to calculate. Of course, like I said, it's a familiar concept to us as accountants, and we're using accounting profits. Uh, it can easily be calculated from our financial statements. That's another advantage it looks at the entire project life okay unlike the payback period which looks at only the period within the payback and it does not consider cash flows after the payback period this one looks at the entire project so it has disadvantages one serious disadvantage is because it is calculated on accountant's profit, it is subjected to a lot of different interpretations. Like I said, some accountants use straight line method in calculating depreciation. Some use uh, um, weighted average. Some use uh, reducing balance method and stuff like that. Even if you use the same method, for example, reducing balance, your assumptions may differ. For example, the useful life of your assets, the useful life of your furniture and fittings, SDF might use 10 years, and uh, uh, maybe the Gambia Hotel and Multimedia, whatever, may use five years. So it depends. So because of that, accountant's profit is subjected to uh, a lot of uh, potential manipulation. Okay, uh, The fact that it is a percentage is a relative measure rather than an absolute measure. Hence, it takes no account of the size of the investment. Okay? It's always calculated on percentage basis. And it takes no account of the length of the project. And uh, uh, like the paper, it ignores time value of money. So since it's not a DCF technique, it ignores time value of money. Okay? So, um, now, how do we calculate accounting rate of return? There are two possible methods. First is the simple method, and the second one is the average method. Okay? So um, the accounting rate of return methods appraising a project involves what? Estimating the accounting rate of return that a project should yield. If it exceeds a certain target, like I said, um, then you implement. Okay, so the two different methods are the normal method and the average method. So you have the normal method, you Calculate your average accounting profit, that's the average by years, divided by your initial capital outlay. 
And uh, the second method is um, the same numerator, but the, the denominator is different. The denominator will be average investment. And average investment is usually calculated as the initial investment plus the final investment, which is usually the scrap value or the salvage value, as the Americans will call it, divided by two. It's that simple. So these are the two methods. But in exams, you will be told what method to use in case it appears. Okay, so we have this question. A project involves the immediate purchase of a plant costing 110. It will generate annual profits before depreciation of 24,000 for five years. Cloud value will be 10,000 at the end of the year. Okay, this is a simple one. So what we're going to do is, um, we are going to do a more complicated one. So this example two, uh, please do it on a, do, do it as part of your assignment. Sorry, example one. Do example one as part of your assignment. Example one is very easy. So we're going to do example two, which is uh, a bit more complicated. Is that clear, everybody? Example one on ARR will be one of your assignments. Are you with me? Are you with yes. me, class? Yes, we are with you, yes. Oh, good. Yes. So I'll just go to a sheet called ARR, Accounting Rate of Return. Okay. Example one, PG one will be assignment. Okay. Very simple, but just do it as part of your assignment. So all assignments are supposed to be done on only one workbook. Please take note of this. I don't have time to look for different workbooks, okay? You, the file you created initially, the Google Sheet file you create initially is the same file that you should do all your assignments. Each assignment must be done on a fresh worksheet. Okay, take note of that. So example one is an assignment. I'm going to make it bold so that you can see it clearly. Right, so let's go to example two. Example two starts here. Okay. Example two says, Arrow wants, and this example two is on page, let me tell you what page it's on your handout. I've, take note, I have given you a handout, and I've also given you your, um, your lecture slides, so you make reference to them. This one, the A R R. okay. So example two starts on page five, okay, at the bottom, and it continues on top of page six, just for your reference. Right, so I'm going to read. Please make sure you screenshot it if you haven't got it. Okay, screenshot it so that we can walk through it smoothly. Aaron wants to buy a new item of equipment. Two models of equipment are available, one with a slightly higher capacity and greater reliability than the other. The expected costs and profits of each item are as follows. Capital cost is 100,000 for X and 175 for Y. They have the same useful life, Profits before depreciation are this. Disposal value of equipment. Accounting rate of return is measured as the average annual profits divided by the average investment, okay? So that's the method they want you to use. So you've been told to use what? The average method. Fill in the boxes below to determine which equipment item should be purchased if the company's target ARR is 25%. So two equipments, two projects, 
equipment X and equipment Y. You need to assess and calculate their accounting rate of return and compare them to the company's target, which is 25%. Okay, is that clear? So this is what exactly we're going to do. Everybody, are we together? So first, I want yeah. to ask, what profits are given in this question? Are they cash flow or they are accountant's profit? They are cash flows. Huh? They are cash flows. OK, they are cash flows, we agree. In calculating ARR, do we use cash flow or we use accountant's profit? In calculating ARR, use accountant's profit. Do we use cash flow we, or we use accountant's profit? Accountant's profit. We use accountant's profit. But we have not been given accountant's profit. What we've been given is cash flow as profit before depreciation. Yeah. So what do we do to calculate the accountant's profit? We depreciate. Hmm? We depreciate. Good. We depreciate. So the profits we have have not been depreciated, so we need to depreciate them. Simple. We need to depreciate them. So take your uh, screens of this, then we're going to move to our worksheet. Excellent. So I'm happy that you're telling me what I want to hear. So uh, this is called what? Interactive question one. Interactive Q1. Right. So um, we've been given a box to fill, isn't it? OK, we've been given a box to fill. Um, and let's produce the box. So it's going to be one. I'm going to expand, isn't it? I'll have as my first column, my details, then I'll have item X. Item X and item Y. Just going to duplicate this and I'll change the X to Y. I'll change the X to Y. Okay. Right. So, um, first things first. So what do we have on the, on the template? The, the first thing that, that should come on the template should be what? Profit before depreciation, isn't it? Yes. Profit before depreciation. Okay, and next one. Yes. It seems like you are so you are doing the answers, but you are not projecting it. Oh, you are not seeing it. Is that so? Oh, I'm not projecting yeah. it. Yes. We, no, we are looking I'm, at the question, but not your works. Oh, oh, well, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. I still have changed the I still have changed. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Sorry about that. Let me just, um, yes, you're right. I forgot to project it here. Don't worry, I'll just do it in a sec. Okay, good. Excellent. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's loading. It's loading, huh? You can see it clearly. Now. Yeah, I can see it. Clearly, huh? Oh. Okay, excellent. So you can see it clearly. I made it, um, uh, I zoomed it so that you can all see it clearly. Right. So, um, so item X, item Y, then we have our depreciation, we have our profit before depreciation. So the next, the next one on our template is what? Profit after depreciation, isn't it? Yes. So I say profit after depreciation. 
So let's have all our templates. Let's let's put our templates. Let's put our frame. Then after we can plug in the numbers. Then the next is average annual accounting profit, isn't it? Yeah. Average annual accounting profit. Average annual accounting profit. Let me just expand it a bit. Okay. And uh, the next line is what? The average, average investment. investment. Average investment. Okay. We have average investment. Good. Then at the end of the day, we are supposed to get what? Our ARR. Okay, and this will be based on the average method. Just put based on average method. Good. Okay, so far so good. Am I making sense? Are you following? Yes, we are. Excellent. So we got our table. Now let's populate the numbers. Uh, the first one we have is going to be the profit before depreciation. Okay, so let's go back to our question. The profit before depreciation, we have it over five years, isn't it? So we need to add all of them for each equipment. Okay, so let's add for X from year one to year five is going to be how much? 50 plus 50 plus 30 plus 20 plus 10 is how much? Is how much? One eight. Huh? Fifty plus fifty plus one hundred eighty. Is that correct, class? One hundred eighty. Yes, it's correct. Check it properly. It's not one hundred eighty. One sixty. Yes. 160, correct. Mr. Core, you are adding the last 20,000. The last 20,000 oh. is the scrap value. Yes, yes, sorry. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to format this. Financial, and I'll reduce the decimal places. I align them because they are numbers to the right. So correct. So they are one hundred and sixty thousand. What about for Y? So I add the add the uh, the the cash flows before depreciation from year one to year five for Y. How much? How much? I'm waiting. Two eighty, please. Two eighty. Two eighty thousand. Correct. To eighty thousand. Now we have to calculate our profit after depreciation. Okay, but before we calculate our profit after depreciation, let's first add a column and uh, put that as the depreciation. So we're going to use. Uh, not a column, sorry, um, a row to calculate our depreciation. And mind you, this will be our total depreciation for the five years. So what's our total depreciation for the five years for X? Okay, when you read your question, you are told that the cost of the capital is 100,000 and 175,000 respectively. And uh, they are all, their useful life is five years in each case. And uh, the scrap value for X is 20,000 and the scrap value for Y is 25,000. So what's the total depreciation for each of them? Can someone tell me how we're going to calculate that?
the open bracket. Okay. I say equals an open bracket. Uh huh. One hundred thousand minus twenty thousand. One hundred thousand minus twenty thousand. Uh huh. This is it. Close the bracket. Close the bracket. Divide by five years. Okay. I divide by five years. Uh huh. Is that all? That is by your multiply by. That's per year, yeah? Yes, and multiply by five years. You <laughs> multiply by five years. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's per year, the precision. You know, you know, divide by five years, multiply by five years is, is, is nil. It's nil. If you do that, of course, it's going to be correct. We have to put our bracket closed. We have to do our bracket here, and we say multiply by five. So that will give you 80,000. Of course, yes. 80,000 is correct. But is the method correct? Why do you have to divide it by five and you multiply by five? You know, divide by five, multiply by five, the effect is zero. Do you know that? Yes, it's zero. So I'll tell you, look at it. If I remove this, and I remove the extra bracket. What did I get? Same, the same. Uh, the same. Okay, and it's simple. The logic is simple. Um, if you buy uh, equipment X for hundred thousand, okay, at the end of the five years, you can be able to get only twenty thousand as cash back. That's the square value. Then that means what? What's the total depreciation? The total depreciation is the difference. Okay? Yes, that's true. In an asset, there are two things there. Okay? In an asset, you have two things there. The depreciated amount it's and the scrap value. So if it costs 100,000, and at the end of the day, scrap value will be 20,000, whatever remains there is the amount that have been depreciated over the period, the accumulated depreciation. Okay, so the accumulated depreciation over the five years is eighty thousand. Simple. Okay, so what about um, what about for why equipment why? One fifty. So we say equals. Give me the formula. Bracket opens. One seventy-five thousand. One seventy-five. One two three. I hope the rest of you are understanding. Yeah. Minus How twenty-five. Most of you are understanding. Minus twenty-five thousand. Yes, yes. 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 Minus twenty-five thousand. Okay. These are very, very simple things. And now you will have total depreciation of one fifty thousand. So now what is going to be the profit after depreciation? We deduct it, isn't it? So we have one sixty minus eighty. We enter. And we replicate this way. So your profit after depreciation or the accountant's profit will be eighty thousand under one under one thirty thousand respectively. Okay. So now we want to calculate our annual accounting profit so let's have some workings here or we just have some assumptions written down here so what's the what's the life of the project five years five life years. of the project is five years so we type five here now i want to show this five to read five years so that I can be able to use it in calculations. Can someone take me through how to do my custom number formatting to do that? Karamo, you want to try? 
Yes, I can try. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. You can, you can say equals to a uh, custom number formatting equals to. Um, okay. Go for number four. Sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. You go to formats. Okay, I have to first click where I want to custom format, yeah? Yes, yeah, so you go to format. Yeah, I go to format, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Custom number format is down there. Custom number format down here. Minto. I can't see it here. Uh, yes. What's the number? Number. Number. Uh huh. More format. More format. More format. Okay. Custom number format. There. Custom number format. Ah. So what do I do next? I click on zero. Zero. I pick on zero. The reason why I want mm -hmm. to pick on zero is because I want my years not to have any decimals. Yes. Okay, equally, if I pick this one, it's also fine because this one, in case the years are more, I'll have a thousand separator. So I can choose this one. So let's use this time, this one, this time around. Uh -huh. So what do I do next, Karamo? You uh, put inverted commas. I put double inverted commas. Please, inverted commas are two. You have double inverted okay. comma and you have single inverted comma. Their functions are okay. different. Okay, double inverted comma. Mm -hmm. Open. Double. Uh, then space. I hit the space bar once. Then you can type yes or Oman, whatever you want to type. I am going to type yes. That's what I want. Uh huh. Then you close the inverted comma. The double one. I close the double inverted comma. Uh huh. And, and then look apply. at the sample. If you see this sample working here, that means you are mm -hmm. correct. Look at the sample. It has given me the sample. Okay. One comma and then you have in years. Then I click on apply. Excellent. Apply. Now look at it, it has given me five years. Okay. So now I'm going to use these five years to calculate my average annual accounting profit. So can someone help me? Wait, I have to select someone. Salimatu Balde. Salimatu. I want to calculate my average Annual accounting profit. Give me the formula that I need to put on C9. Salimatu. Salimatu, are you with us? Usman Jai. Usman, today you've not been active. What's the problem? Usman, are you with us? Okay, right. Madeline, huh? Madeline. Madeline Jabang. Madeline. Hey. Mohammed Gay. Yes, Mr. Bufa. Yes, Madeline. Okay. Give us the formula that we need to put Hello. here. Hello. Yes, Madeline. Mr. Pova. Yes, Madeline. We are hearing you. Can you give me the formula that I need to put on C9 to calculate my average annual accounting profit for item X? Madeline, are you having network difficulties or what? Musa Trawale. Hello, Mr. Pufa. Yes, Madeline. Hello? Yes, take us through. We're hearing you, Madeline. Hey, yo. Musa Trawale. Kumba Fayinke. Kumba. 
Are you a sister to Maria too? Kumba? The Fainkes. Kumba. Maria to Fainke? None of the Fainkes are answering. Ali Tala. Ali? Okay, now, who can tell me what formula, what formula I should I can put? try. I can try. You can try. Yes. yes. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Equals to, equals to. Equals, uh-huh. E8. Equals, I click on E8, uh-huh. C8 divided by C15. Divided by C15. Yes. Okay. Huh? I enter. Yes, enter, yes. Okay. And what do I do next? I replicate to the other item. I replicate. Okay. I've replicated. This is what I got. Is this correct? Is that correct? No, that one is not correct. Sir. It's not correct. Why is it not correct? Oh, okay, okay. No, no. Okay, for that one, also, <laughs> that one you have to... Okay, uh, for, for for item Y, mm -hmm. you should have locked the C, C15. You have to lock C15. I have to lock C15. Correct. Yeah. That's the way we do. Because we are using only five years here we are not yes. putting it have to, in have to look other cells okay i will we have discussed it many 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 times okay so we're going to lock c15 so to lock c15 we press f4 whilst we are on edit mode now we can replicate this and it's going to, going to give us any error message so it's correct now so the average annual accounting profit is 16,000 for X and 26,000 for Y. Now, what about the average investment? Okay, so I'm going to put scrap value here. I'm going to put scrap. So what's the scrap value for X? 20,000. 20,000. What about for Y? 25,000. 25,000. Okay, so now, can we calculate our average investment? This side is the working. So can we calculate our average investment? And of course, we can put our we can put our initial investment also here or the cost of capital we say capital cost we can type it here it doesn't matter the capital cost is hundred thousand hundred thousand and hundred and seventy five thousand isn't it yes. okay so now, now that we have all these facts, can we calculate our average investment? Can someone give me the formula to calculate the average investment? Atta Jai, Atta? Atta, are you with us? Atta? I'm going to make this bowl and I give them a different color because I'm going to use them. Okay, so the average investment, can someone try? Anyone? Karamo? Batu, Batu Drane. Yeah, yes. Okay, so so you want to try. okay, Mr. So, yes. Yeah, we are the cost of capital by the share value, right? That is, I mean, equals, if that is the case, it equals, no? Equals. Yes, C seventeen. C seventeen, which is yes. the cost of the capital. Yeah, divided by the extract value. 
<laughs> divided by uh, C16. C16. Yeah, we Is this correct? Is this correct? Plus, is this correct? No, no. It should be C15. Should be. Yes. Okay, Madeline, you want to try? Yes. Now, now that you are back, yes. Madeline, you want to try? Give us the formula. Yes. Um, C17. Equals? Equals, yes. C17, uh-huh. Plus um, C16. Plus C16, uh-huh. Then you divide it by two. Divide it by two. Enter. Okay, is that correct? Is that correct? Is this correct? Is this correct? So I wanna explain, please. I have zero idea. Huh? You have what? Is this correct? The average investment. It's not correct because of the formula, Madeline. You have an, an, an idea, but we did not follow board mass. And as such, what the system do, has done for us is that it has taken I, C16 divided by 2 plus yeah, yeah. C17. Yeah, the, the bracket. Yes. So you should put plus. a bracket before the divided yeah. by. Correct. Before the divided by. Correct. Now it's 60,000. Correct. So we just replicate. So we have this hundred thousand. So we have sixty thousand and hundred thousand. Now, what is our average account? What what is our accounting rate of return based on the average method? So I'm going to replicate this um, format. So can someone give us? The formula to calculate our average accounting rate of return. Sorry, our accounting rate of return based on the average method. Okay. So far, so good. <clears throat> Mohamed Koka, I'm sure Koka just locked on. He's not been active today. Mohamed Koka? Yes, Mr. Fofana. Yes, what's wrong with you today? Um, I have bad connectivity. Oh, bad connectivity. Oh, too bad. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, what was your question again? We want to calculate the last one, which is the ARR. We've got our average annual accounting profit. We've got our average investment. And we all agreed that the annual... Yeah, sorry, the, annual, uh, the accounting, the accounting, rate, of accounting return, rate of return based on the mm -hmm. average method, um, mm -hmm. I think it would be the, the, uh, the, the average annual accounting profit divided so by... I'm going to put the formula here. So I'm going to put it as a... a for average, A for annual, A again for accounting, P for profit, divided yes. by the average investment. A for average, I for investment. So yeah. this is our formula using the average method. Average method, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to um, wrap this up. I'm going to wrap it up okay, so I can fit here. Now, 
Can you tell me the formula that we need to use to calculate our ARR for X and for Y? Yeah, it's going to be E, sorry, C, C9. Equals. Equals C9. We're going to say equals C9, which is the um, numerator, yes, divided, divided by, by C10. C10, we enter. But that has given us zero. We need to format it to percentage. Okay, if we format it to percentage, it has given us 26.7%. Then we replicate. So that has given us 26.00%. Okay, so now what will be our conclusion? Our target, our target ARR as given in this question is 25%. But we have 26.67% for X and 26% for Y. And mind you, these two projects are mutually exclusive. So what do we do? What do we do? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we have to go in for Project X. We will go in for Project X, item X. Why? Why are we going to go in for item X? It's higher than the project Y. Okay, because item X has got an account rate of return higher than item Y. So therefore, we're going to execute item X, okay? These are mutually exclusive projects, and uh, as such, we can do only one. So the one we're going to do will be um, the one with the highest returns. Okay, assuming that they are not mutually exclusive, we can do both because both of them meets the requirement of our company, which is 25%. Okay. So, any questions? To be honest, account rate of return and uh, uh, payback period are pretty easy. And in exams, they don't usually come on their own. Forget it. You can never have a question separately on payback period or on account rate of return. They will mix it with other questions like um, NPV method and IRR method and stuff like that. Okay? So, but they are good stuff to know and uh, they are very useful in initial screening. So both of them are used for initial screening, okay? Uh, you want to go for a project, you, you're planning to invest, okay? Even at personal level, um, first look at your payback period. How long will it take for you to get your money back? Okay, and then two, what will be your return? Okay, so that's, that also measures profitability. Uh, this uh, accounting rate of return is a good method except that one, it does not put time value of money into consideration, okay? And then two, it's calculated on accounting profit rather than cash flow, okay? And like I said, accounting profit um, is subjected to a lot of manipulation, okay? So, um, this is where we're going to stop for today, and we'll continue tomorrow, inshallah, at 3 o'clock. Uh, when we come, we need to discuss about the exam date, uh, because our plan is to complete the syllabus by Tuesday, inshallah. Okay? So, any questions, please, before we wrap up? Any questions or any observations? We're all okay? Shall we call it a day today? Yeah, it was a good lecture. Though. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm happy.
that you guys followed and you enjoyed. Okay. So see you tomorrow, inshallah. Thank you. And have a good night. Mr. Mr. Fofana? Yes, sir. Mr. Fofana? Uh, you gave us an assignment, right? Yes, I gave an assignment. Yeah, what's the due date? Ah, uh, good question. Right. Today, um, I usually do my, my um, Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. okay. Tuesday, on Tuesday, yeah. What's the date on Tuesday? Can someone help me? What's the date on Tuesday? 14, 14. Okay. 14 September 2021. Excellent. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, assignment. Okay. I just put assignment. Okay. So. I think that's clear now. Wrap it up. So that's that's example uh, two, right? Are uh, we gonna do? Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. All right, so no, it's example one. So, okay, so we'll be doing example one. Yes. Okay. I did the second one with you, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, so this is it. Okay, thanks for that observation. So any any more thing before we wrap up? Okay, so if there are no other things, um, have a good day, have a good night of course, and uh, we see tomorrow at three o'clock inshallah. Okay, and Mr. Mr. Fofana, please send the, the, the video lectures uh it might not be today because to be honest i'm very very hungry i have to go home <laughs> maybe tomorrow morning i'll tell you okay fine thank you